We want to determine the value of B that makes matrix A singular. Notice B is the element in row one, column two. A square matrix A is singular if it does not have an inverse matrix. We learned earlier that a matrix A does have an inverse or is invertible if the determinant of matrix A does not equal zero. So it follows that if matrix A is singular, then the determinant would have to be equal to zero. So we'll set the determinant of matrix A equal to zero and then solve for B. So we'll use vertical bars for the determinant of matrix A. So we have three B, negative two, negative four, and for matrix A to be singular, this must equal zero. Now for a quick review, when we have a two by two determinant, the determinant of matrix A is equal to AD minus BC. So for our determinant, we would have three times negative four minus B times negative two. So again, three times negative four minus B times negative two must equal zero. So we have negative 12, this is going to be plus two B equals zero. Let's go ahead and add 12 to both sides. So we have two B equals 12, divide both sides by two, and we have B equals six. And again, just to double check our work, if we substitute six for B, we'd have the determinant three, six, and then negative two, negative four. Let's check to make sure this does equal zero. So again, we'd have three times negative four minus six times negative two. Three times negative four is negative 12, and then we have minus six times negative two. That's also negative 12. So we have negative 12, this becomes plus 12, which equals zero. So our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.